the punching match. Yeah. All right, so SFOP Bananas Grand Finals. Uh, SFOP meeting Bananas for the first time in bracket today. Normally does really well against him, especially as of late. All right. <laughs> she just warps. It's Quantum. Quantum Nana. Great jab reset. Yeah, and so Nana will very often do that getup attack right there. That's the option that you want to do. Um, so Bananas is doing a great job, but you want... What normally Fox wants to do is get on that platform. He doesn't want to crouch cancel. He doesn't want to hang out there for that get-up attack because, like, what's he going to do? Shield grab it? He can, but yeah. what he wants to do is be up on that platform so he can drop down and shine or back air. It depends on the percent. Um, you saw Connor was, uh, or Bananas was doing that up B to save Nana, and that's because she wasn't in tumble. Um, and shine basically never puts her in tumble. No. So once she's high enough percent, you don't want to do that shine anymore. You want to hit her with a back air or something that will, that will knock her out. Patience. Shine right there, though, is guaranteed because there's nothing he can do about it. He's still up in the air. Yeah. Okay. One thing I do want to see from SFOP is joining, uh, after he knocks Ice Climbers up, joining them on platform and then spacing around down air with that tilt. It's mm -hmm. such a solid option to deal with it because it's got this great big scoop hitbox that covers a ton of Fox's rear. Yeah. Good Foxes to watch for Ice's matchup. Crush, uh, Lucky, surprisingly, very good. Due to having army and a few other ICs in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> My oh jeez! Doesn't have a jump. Yep. Regrab. Regrab misses it. It, it, he, it might be a little too topical, but my favorite fox to watch in the matchup is Leffen. <laughs> yeah, Leffen's actually really good in the matchup. He's, he's really good at um, it. Um, Chu is just also a monstrously good fox matchup, though. Yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that has anything to do with matchup. Chu is no. just like one of those in your head kind of players. He's really good. Right. She comes off the platform, invincible up smash, follow through on Nano. She won't die just yet. You gotta wait for that screen. I feel like for as much uh, hate Icy's get, they have one of the, the least satisfying death screens. Do they? I, I feel like Puff's is uh, one of the best in the game. Puff and Sheik both have... Look at that follow-up! See, in that off situation, back, I'm always holding down. Whatever Nana throws, you want it, you want it to be as far away as possible, so I'm holding down. Because, uh, like, if you got the forward throw, it doesn't matter how you DI. If you get the up throw, then, yeah, it's probably not Oh, possible. my God. So I really like that forward smash um, because Nana was still in the air, so you could just let it rip as soon as she hits the ground. So even if Popo shields it, Nana's going to die. And just comes in and swooshes on it, scoops up. All right, still a lot of room to work with. We haven't gotten a ton of early percent Nana kills. It's just not been able to get the... The final touch on her when it comes to like, getting there. She'll have to snap the ledge. And it's pretty pretty yeah. difficult for that spot. Yeah, sometimes you gotta weigh your options though. Like, is it worth it? How many how many times can you just get revenge killed? I love that getup attack. Getup attack is super good in this matchup. Oh, all right. Your back swing while I was catching. Ah, mm, missing the ledge. Actually. Unlucky. That's that fox tax. Gotta pay that. You gotta tithe one offering to the gods every now and again. Yeah. yeah. Dreamland as a counter pick from S Fop. It's it's pretty standard for him against Ice Climbers. Uh, yeah. Jabber set into regrab and wobble. But uh, it gives him the room that he needs to run around. But like S Fop is definitely one of those players that has like the solid dash dance game, the bait game with that, and doesn't have as strong of a micro as a fox like Mojo. Like it's still good, don't get me wrong. But, like Mojo's micro is insane. Yeah, uh, it, it's definitely. It comes down to decisions, you know? Oh, I love that forward throw. I think forward throw versus Isis is broken. It's it's supremely good. It's one of Fox's like best throws in the matchup because it reduces that hitbox. As long as he doesn't punch. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Great I, I like that shine. That could have killed him. Yeah. Shifting out, focus, and spot dodge shines. It's looking a little stickier than usual. Ooh, Nana with the... Oh, man. He almost paid for that. Yeah. Let's see if he almost got him. Oh, oh we got him again! Definitely orange. Yeah. He needs that Nana dead now. Because oh, she's having his, her way with him. Yeah, this is a field day for Bananas right now. This is the best I think I've seen him. Oh, that's uh. That's, that's he's gonna, gonna be really for that. Yeah, he's. Oh, Good Nana match. gets a little antsy. Yeah, that's the one thing about handoffs. They're theoretically inescapable, 
but in practice they're totally escapable because you never know if Nana's gonna fumble. Yeah, she might just goon up the whole thing for you. That's why you should always mash anyway. Oh, you got it. Mash with the buttons, DI with the stick. Yep. Very Gucci. I love that just testing the waters. Oh, he's really trying. Really wants it. Trying to go for full hunter killer mode. It's getting caught by a lot of dash dance grabs from these tech chances. Yeah, and it's interesting because it's definitely a change up in what you usually see for Bananas with Sopo. I think he's getting a lot more uh, cognizance when it comes to when he knows he can dash dance and still have Nana closely synced by mm -hmm. in her own movement. Yeah, you, you, you typically see climbers change the way they move when they're synced and when they're, you know, when they're Sopo. Because, yeah. like, certain actions will definitely throw Nano away. Yes. She'll just get lost and she's like, wait, you want me to do what? I don't know how to do that. And so when, once they're Sopo, then they can move and they can pivot and they can dash dance a, a lot more. But when they're together, it's like... Yeah. There's definitely these windows where it's like feasible. See, like that right there. Yeah. That tilt I was talking about earlier. But it's definitely feasible at certain times to get those dash dance grabs going. Um, Bananas is racking up so much. He has lived forever. I'm not quite sure what it is today about s -Fop such guards, but... See, what I want to see s -Fop do a lot more is when you know the Ice Climbers have the double jump, and their most likely option is to double jump to the ledge, but they have that mix-up of doing the immediate side B. Just, like, shine where that ledge is. Oh, man, if he had waited and shine, that would have been hard for Nana. Um, Nana's got to work this back. Oh, that back here. Nana's... Super. Or, uh, Banana's a uh, Nana Central, so. He's particularly good about like actually getting her back and dealing with it. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, as I was saying, it's like it's like how Peach will hang out right at that spot by the ledge and just snare and there's nothing Ice Climbers can do about it. Fox can just shine there. They don't have as many mix-ups. Oh. All right. And, and not only that, Squall Hammer, like, you can just shine Spike Squall Hammer straight up. Yeah, it, it's such a That's terrible cool. hitbox. It's, uh, it's good when they're both together, but on their own you can just kill them for it. Even when they're together, it's not hard to shine. No. Um, you just gotta be like, you don't go wide, you go kind of at that hourglass angle from the top. Yeah. But, yeah, when, when Foxes throw out that shine right there, I'm just like, well, now I have to revert to really bad options to beat that. <laughs> Alright, catch Nana. Yeah, too far for that one. Let's see if he can get this tech chase. No, drops it. Okay. That was oh. oh, that was great SDI from Connor into great SDI, but you're off stage yeah, and you're doing you're a dare buffering. and you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, no, that was uh, that was a sequence of great SDI that led to his death. Yes. Strings of good decision making into one bad decision does not make a good sequence. Mm -hmm. All right, but he is caught up in the wobble here, and he will be able to even things out. I've got such mixed feelings about this stage. I personally think it's like one of the better stages for Ice Climbers in this matchup, but Foxes insists that they're great at it, so I don't know what to believe. I think that having more opportunities to force a scramble is good for like mid-level Foxes. I think the fact that Nana dies from up air at 30, or two up airs at 30 to die off the top at 40 is really good. Oh. And the fact that she will betray you for that climb. This is a, a She will movie. just like see a platform and like go for it. Now that that down air is a uh, is a rinse and repeat, a, a lot like Fox's back air from the ledge, where you have to do it really low, but it covers basically every option. Yeah, you gotta drop down and just catch them while you're rising. Yeah, and then oh you wait God. for that angle because you know it's coming. They're gonna they're gonna try to do that perfect angle, and that's when you roll up, and then they're like, oh man, I got got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I like opting for that just rolling from ledge space and re grab there and wobble. Now it wasn't directly punished as as it normally would be but that ledge dash up smash especially versus ice climbers is so rough because like yeah the up smash is invincible but it's also not safe on shield no so, and by the time they wave dash out of shield grab you your invincibility is long gone so i i don't know if i agree with that oh why man. does my oh that's oh, gonna be it uh, all right quick 3-0 from bananas to finish out grand finals and our first one at melee to end at 11 in months of summer but hey. it's been good it's been very good. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, Bananas is your grand champion for Monday Night Melee 145.